so good morning students uh, we completed about uh, the pistol part when we i was explaining the different parts of the pistol and in this video uh, i'm going to start with the second part that is the mega sporangium mega sporangium or the ovule so first we need to know that the mega sporangium or the ovule in angiosperms it is anatropous and by tegmic structure what is anatropous anatropous means that ovule is inverted structure right and by tegmic means by means two teg means integument so the ovule is having is uh, will be having two integuments so coming to the structure structure of the ovule <laughs> again very important from the examination point of the view if this is the ovary wall right so if this is the ovary wall wait a minute i have to take the distance if this is the ovary wall now what is going to happen that ovary wall is going to have a placenta right the placenta so let me label it along with this outermost structure is the ovary wall then is the placenta right placenta so placenta is a is a small stalk like structure so placenta is the stalk like structure and this structure is called as funicle right funicle and the funicle is now fused to another structure right and this structure is called as ovule right so you understood it outermost structure the ovary wall inner to it is the placenta suppose this is a placenta then to placenta is the funicle a stalk like structure right and to this is attached the ovule fine so the point where the funicle is fusing to the ovule this point this very point this point this is called as hilum what is it this is hilum right now this you can see outer one and two so these are the two integuments so one is the outer one so outer integument right and the other is this one or little upper this is inner in segment so you know that angiospermic uh, the structure of angiospermic ovule it is by tegmic one is the outer integument and another one is the inner integument now in uh, coming more in towards inside then here is a group of cells or we can say a mass of cells which is very compactly arranged a mass of cells i am drawing the circles over here showing the mass of cells this is also called as nucleus or the porogenous tissue right so this is a nucleus right or sporogenous tissue or sporogenous tissue okay so and in in this there is again what it is having inside a embryo right so this is a embryo sac where the embryo is developing right again one more important thing you have to remember is that the integument you can see it is covering whole of the area closed from this side as you will move downward the, then here you will find that it is not covering it is not closing a complete circle is not drawn or oval shape is not completed so this opening at this end this opening and this portion this is called as the micropylar end of the ovule again very important to remember 
So the opening side of the ovule is called as the micropylar end, and the other end is called as the larval end. Right? So ovule is uh, the ovule structure is anatropous, as I told you. So the first point is that is anatropous type of ovule in angiosperms. Right? So it is a characteristic feature of angiosperms, the flowering plant. Second is it is by tegmic means the two integuments outer and the inner integument is present. Right? Again, a quick recap. This is the anatropous ovule, means upside down. Upper side is known as chalazal end. The lower side, which is not covered by the outer and the inner integument, that is called as the micropylar end. Again, then is the placenta. Two placenta is the funicle, right? And the funicle is going to fuse with the ovule wall and that very point is called as hilum. Fine. Now moving inwards, there are two integuments. The outer integument and the inner integument. Again moving more inwards, there is a group or a mass of a cell and that is called as nucleus or sporogenous tissue. In a, inside too it is a growing embryo. So this is the structure of a megasporangium. Now in my this was just a structure and now in my next video I will I will discuss in detail the process of megasporogenesis. Thank you students.